Hey gang, it's been a busy week and I hope you guys are enjoying the videos and today is Earth Day and I've got 10 earthy green fragrances for you. I wanted to do a twist on the earthy fragrances, uh, you know, collection of fragrances. Uh, I've done an earthy fragrances video probably towards the end of last year. And so today, since it is Earth Day, I thought I'd do a twist on it and make them green. So it's spring, that's why it's earthy green fragrances and I've got 10 of them here in celebration of Earth Day. So if you want to find out what they are, then please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. Yes, it's Earth Day, April 22nd. It's been a lot of celebrations this year. It's been a busy week here uh, for me. Next week, it's going to be a little slower, I think. I'm going out of town the following week, so i got to slow down a bit. hope you guys are not getting bored of the videos. Uh, this was something I was planning on doing, and then somebody mentioned it in my Cannabis Fragrances video, or another video I did prior to that, whatever. I can't remember. But uh, stay tuned for lots of great content. We'll do the uh, question and answer video tomorrow, and then... Uh, I've got a top 20 for Saturday. And on Sunday, I've got a new house, a brand new house that I'm speaking about on the channel, a preview of three of their fragrances. And I've never spoken about this house on the channel before. And I've been wanting to do a video about this house for a while now. And luckily we have a video on this house. It's a house out of France. And that's all I'm gonna say until Sunday. Stay tuned for that. But I'm gonna let you know about the earthy green fragrances. But before I do, if this is your first time tuning into the channel and you still haven't subscribed, please do click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so that you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. So the twist is earthy green fragrances and it's all about conservation and the environment and earthy fragrances are, you know, <clears throat> A lot of vetiver fragrances tend to be earthy, but a lot of them do not tend to go in the green direction. So I had a, a you know a little challenge finding green and earthy at the same time, but we've got 10 fragrances here. And I'm gonna start off with the first one, which was also featured in a green fragrances video, I think recently, but this is uh, definitely earthy and green. And this is Orza El Legrand's Sheepra Mousse. If you don't know this and you like earthy fragrances that go green, definitely do check this one out. This is a very, very unique fragrance experience for me. It's a Sheepra, but a unique Sheepra. Uh, it's very earthy with earthy notes. There's a um, soil tincture in here. So that's kind of what gives you the earthy vibe, but it's utilizing a lot of notes, vegetables, herbs, and greens, and things like that with oak moss. There's fennel, mint, green notes, angelica, galbanum, clover, fern, mushroom, and soil tincture. You know, there's a foamy quality about it, but a foamy quality with all those notes combined. And it's very oak mossy. And that's oak moss, I think, is also a very earthy note. But the fact that it has a lot of green notes added here, it definitely goes green. Uh, with the earthiness. So it's very, very unique experience. Just imagine digging through the earth. I mean, the mushrooms uh, totally comes to mind with this one. If you like the smell of mushrooms, if you pick them up and you smell that soil or dirt uh, covered mushroom, kind of uh, goes in that direction with a lot of oak moss and other greens. So that's what this one's all about. And I think it's a great green earthy fragrance to celebrate Earth Day with. So that's Orza Elegrand Sheep Mousse. If you don't know it, do check it out. Now this next one is from the House of Serge Lutens. I think this one was also featured in my green fragrances video, but it's also very, very green. It's from the House of Serge Lutens, as I said, and this is De Profond. Fundus. And this is a fragrance I bought from a friend recently, and man, it smells fantastic. It's an ultimate earthy green experience. If this is the ultimate green experience in a fragrance in this video, this is the second ultimate green fragrance that's earthy uh, in this video. So this is loaded with uh, lots of great notes. Chrysanthemum, uh, violets, green notes, soil tincture, plum tree, incense. So whenever that soil tincture comes in, it's automatically going earthy 
And I think this, this no, is definitely, it's the sell, smell of the earth. And I, I, I know I featured a lot of soil tincture focused fragrances in my other earthy fragrances video, but as I said, I wasn't focusing on green and earthy. So if you want to find out more about this note, there are other fragrances that feature it, but definitely don't go in the green direction. Here it does because of the green notes. The chrysanthemum is also beautiful here. There's the violets. And then of course the plum tree and the incense for a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. It's interesting, I actually decanted a little bit of this for somebody recently, and the juice inside is purple, and it's totally hidden in this bottle. And I have to be honest, I hate these bottles. These are like some of the worst bottles ever. I mean, they might look cool and everything, but they're the worst to photograph. You got this thin, long thing, and if you're trying to put it in a freaking Instagram photo, all you see is this thing and nothing else, you know, kind of a thing. So I'm, I'm hating the bottle, but the juice inside is beautifully purple. And I looked it up, and on uh, Fragrantica, they only show the Bell Jar version of it, and inside there is the purple juice, and it's definitely in here as well. If you like green, earthy fragrances, you must try this one. It's a great, great green, earthy fragrance from the house of Serge Lutens, and this is uh, De Profundis, a great, really, really great smelling fragrance that I love. This next one's from the house of Imaginary Authors, The Soft Lawn, another very, very green and earthy fragrance. Um, you can totally smell the earthiness here, it really does smell earthy, but it also features tennis ball, linden blossom or lime blossom with uh, ivy, vetiver, laurels, oak moss, very, very earthy experience. And I think the tennis ball accentuates the, the tennis ball smell, accentuates the smell of the, uh, the earthiness of the fragrance. So it goes into a more earthy direction. But I like the ivy in here. You definitely smell it. You also smell um, <clears throat> all the greens growing around here. And of course the vetiver adds this earthiness as well. So you're experiencing a very, very earthy uh, concoction. That's really, really wonderful. Uh, if you don't like quirky notes, like the tennis ball note, this one might uh, not be it for you. But I had a friend who was head over heels for this fragrance. And he used to tell me, uh, he used to be chased down the street, people asking him what he's wearing and stuff like that. So he was a really big fan of it. I'm not sure if he still is, I'll have to ask, but it's a very, very unique and very, very green and earthy concoction auction from Imaginary Authors, The Soft Lawn. Check it out if you don't know it. The next fragrance I'm going to talk to you about is from the house of Tiziana Terenzi. This is Ecstasy. And once again, we have soil tincture in here, but it's a very, very interesting fragrance. It's got soil tincture, tincture, so it gets very soily, kind of earthy, but lots of pine and lots of spruce thrown in here with rose and incense. That's really, really unique, you know? The combination of notes are very, very unique. This, I think, is a very, very underrated fragrance from the house of Tiziana Terenzi, and I really, really love it. And I have a video about it on the channel, a review with a guest, go check it out. But Tiziana Terenzi's Ecstasy is all about spruce, pine, soil tincture, incense, rose, patchouli, violets, woods, and amber. You know, it's definitely in, the, in line with um, the Tiziana Terenzi fragrances. Um, it has his style, but I feel like this is a very, very unique concoction in comparison to some of the others where it reminds us of other fragrances, but here I haven't smelled anything like this. So it's very, very unique. It's very, very green. It's very, very earthy, but also slightly smoky and rosy as well. Ecstasy is a great scent. Check it out if you don't know it. I really, really love that one, uh, and it's a great fragrance. The next one I'm going to talk to you about is from the house of... Uh, Frederick Mall, this is French Lover. Now, everything I've spoken to you about today so far has been unisex. This is a male targeted fragrance, but I don't know if it's necessarily leans masculine. It does have masculine touches, but it's not uber masculine, if that makes sense. And this is a very crunchy, crisp kind of uh, fragrance experience. It does have lots of vetiver, but it has green notes in addition to it. So it makes for a very earthy wearing experience. Vetiver always tends to be uh, earthy, but really doesn't go ultra green for me. But here it does because it's combined with galbanum. So French Lover features vetiver, galbanum, angelica note, oak moss, cedar, incense, 
and spices. Very, very unique fragrance. Very, very classy. Very earthy. You know, you can smell the earth in there. I think it's a great smelling uh, smell. But you know what? Under there, I get a kind of a cucumbery touch in there also. Slightly ozonic, slightly uh, uh, crisp and things like that come to mind. But beautiful. Really, really beautiful fragrance. Definitely something really uh, kind of avant-garde for me for a Frederick Mall fragrance. Uh, it, I mean, it really does work, but it's a, a little different, but does work kind of thing, you know? I really love this one. French Lever from the House of Frederick Mall. Check it out if you don't know it. Uh, I think you're going to dig it. The next one I'm going to talk to you about is a fragrance with the longest name and the most complicated name. It's a French name. Herman Amécote Mes Parasant. I'm doing the best that I can with this and it's from the house of Atelier Verde Orange. And this one features notes of geosmin, pepperwood, and broxin. But boy, it's very, very earthy and also patchouli-esque. Uh, soil tincture does come to mind. Minerally notes comes to mind. Um, green notes totally comes to mind in here. I feel like there's green leaves and ivy and things like that running throughout this fragrance with that geosmin, pepperwood, ambroxan notes uh, in, added in there. It does have lightly sexy touches because I think it has a patchouli-esque base in there. Like I, I pick up patchouli in here. But overall, it's a very great uh, earthy experience uh, along with that green kind of, uh, not necessarily ivy, but leafy kind of maybe aromatic herbal kind of touches running throughout it with the uh, the notes that I mentioned. But I think this is an underrated uh, fragrance, probably because of its name. It's very complicated. It's also very French. But don't sleep on this one. It's a great fragrance if you like earthy, green, woody, uh, aromatic kind of fragrances with, uh, you know, that lean kind of patchouli, uh, patchouli-esque. So that's Herman. I'm going to say Herman from the house of uh, Italie Bird Orange. Uh, and to check it out uh, if you don't know it. All right, this next one is a really beautiful indie fragrance from the House of Rogue Perfumery. This is Mousse Illumine. And once again, here we have oak moss, and I think oak moss is a very, uh, you know, earthy experience or note. Along with Artemisia, white flowers, cypress, olibanum, laurels, white musk, and cedar. So this fragrance, along with Sheep Mousse, has a very foamy quality. I feel like when I spray this one and I'm wearing it, I feel like I've sprayed, uh, you know, those old shaven creams in a canister to come out like mousse, like foam. Uh, there's that kind of an experience. This one does it too. But again, this one is a, a different uh, take on uh, fragrance. It reminds me of, you know, things like Irish Spring, uh, Irish Spring Soap or things like that. Uh, it's very soapy. It has, you know, classic touches. It also has a little bit of like a licorice-y kind of uh, note under there. Has lots of aromatic touches and herbal touches. But such a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. It's a very, very unique creation for today, which actually kind of like, you know, goes and uh, touches on the classics and come back and makes it modern for a wonderful, wonderful wearing experience. Really, really wonderful fragrance. It's very green and earthy and I really like that about it. And I think uh, you guys definitely need to know about it. I have a video on the channel if you don't know much about Rogue Perfumery and their fragrances. And uh, this is one of the best from this house. I think it's quite phenomenal. So that's Rogue Perfumery's Mousse Illumine, a perfect a green earthy fragrance for Earth Day. The next one I'm talking about is a fragrance from the house of uh, Diptyque. This is Odelier. Once again, we're focusing on ivy. And ivy to me is a very earthy smell. I mean, when you go and smell it, uh, there is a smell on ivy, you know, there's a wall of ivy growing. There's a smell. It's kind of like a dusty because ivy attracts dust and green and earthy, woody kind of a smell. And of course, there's like light ozonic touches running throughout it. And that's uh, what you get with this one. So Odelier, like I said, is focusing on ivy. But according to my research, ivy is not extractable. So you have to create an accord with different notes. And I think they've captured it here perfectly. It's ivy, cyclamen, musk, geranium, woods, rosewood, and ambergris. And I think there's that ozonic quality, maybe a little watery thing coming in. And I think it's coming from the ambergris note. But a beautiful 
fragrance, not overly intense. I think it's perfectly earthy here. It's definitely woody and, uh, you know, also a very, very green experience. I think this one's kind of a sleeper. Not a lot of people talk about this one from Diptyque. But if you like, once again, unique kind of fragrances that are earthy, woody, green, perfect for Earth Day, then check out Diptyque's Odelier. I think it's definitely a top-notch release. The next one I'm talking about is from the house of uh, Le Labo, and this is Bay 19. And Bay 19 is also a very, very green experience. Uh, it has loads of patchouli, but it's also very, very earthy. Patchouli, juniper, ambroxan, ozonic notes, green leaves, musk. You know, it does have a kind of a petrichor-like quality under there that I really, really like, but the patchouli is ultra green and woody. There's some sparkliness to it. The juniper is also coming in. Ambroxan actually really has a great uh, characteristic thrown in here with these notes. It works really, really wonderful. There's a sexiness about it with a, a slight challenging touch about it, which uh, I don't know if you understand what that means, but uh, sometimes I find petrichor like smells a little challenging to wear as a perfume or earthy uh, perfumes uh, to, to be a little challenging. So the ambroxan kind of gives it not necessarily like an, a comforting vibe, but more of a like something that you like the smell of and it makes the other fragrance notes that you're challenged with a little easier. So I really like this one. It was a very, very green experience, as I said, very, very earthy and woody. And it smells like you're walking in a park just before it starts raining or, you know, that smell that uh, the earth produces, like, like I said, like just before it's raining. So I like that about this one and the whole fact that it's very, very green and earthy. So that's Le Labo Bay, Bay 19, a great, great fragrance. And I'm going to end the video with the last fragrance and it's from the house of Stark Paris. Once again, focusing on earthy notes and green notes with musk and woods created by Anique Minardo. This is Stark Paris Pot de Allure. You know, I really, really like this one. It's very, very earthy and, and um, it's almost like you're digging soil and you're just digging it and you're getting that aroma of the, the earth coming and hitting you, you know? There's like maybe perhaps like little weeds and grass and whatever other herbs or something that's growing leaves and things like that mixed in with this uh, soil. And uh, that's the kind of uh, smell it is, you know? It's definitely very, very earthy. It's an earthy experience just because they have earthy notes in here, but they also have like... I know they have soil tincture note, they're calling it maybe earthy notes, but I totally smell soil tincture in here and you can just totally smell the soil. But it's mixed in with all these leaves and herbs and ivy and things like that that give off a green vibe. So that's Dark Paris Pota Allures. If you don't know it, do check it out. And that's the last fragrance for uh, this video. And let me know if you like these kind of fragrances, earthy fragrances, green fragrances, and today it's earthy green fragrances. If you don't, uh, maybe you should kind of, you know, grab some samples or order some samples from somewhere, fragrances that might uh, lean in this direction and maybe kind of train your nose or something like that. That might be a good way to kind of appreciate the certain uh, notes or fragrances like this. But, um, because, you know, for me, it wasn't something that I was gravitating towards early on in my journey. Uh, it took a while, but I really do appreciate fragrances like this. And also the celebration of Earth Day, uh, you know, for us to conserve our Earth and, th and things like that. So I think these are perfect earthy green fragrances. Hopefully you guys get to try it. If you're a fan of any of these fragrances, let me know. Put a comment down. Other than that, guys, thanks so much for watching today. If you have any questions or comments, please list below. Otherwise, please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.